Everything on the Chia blockchain is a coin. They are often referred to as smart coins because every coin has a Chia Lisp program associated with it. That program, known as the puzzle, decides how and when the coin can be spent and what happens when it is. NFTs, cats, and standard transactions are all defined using puzzles. In the previous video, we learned how to write basic Chia Lisp programs. Let's apply that to some more complex puzzles and create a coin that can be spent on the blockchain. In this video, we'll be talking about currying, hashing, and conditions. So let's get started. Start by creating a new Chia Lisp file called password.clsp and create a module that takes a parameter password and determines if the value passed in equals hello. If it does, return correct. If not, return incorrect. We'll run this using the brun command in our terminal and pass in hello, which should give us a success. Just to test the opposite, we'll pass in something else and see if that fails. So this is a bit of a refresher on Chia Lisp basics. One of the issues we have with a puzzle like this is that the hard-coded value for the password is both insecure and not very useful. We'd like to have a generalized puzzle that we can use for any password we choose to have. For this, we'll use currying and hashing. To make this puzzle more generalized, we will be using currying. To do so, let's replace our password parameter with two new ones, correct password and provided password, and then run our comparison on those parameters. Now, in our terminal, we can curry in a value to replace the correct password parameter and compile it. Run cdv clsp curry on password.clsp a and pass in our desired password, in this case, hello. And we get the following result. Now, if we run that through brun and give it the correct password, we should get a success. We can also nest these commands like this. The first steps to making our puzzle more secure is to use hashing. A hash function will take an input and return a hash value. One of the most popular hashing algorithms is SHA-256, which is directly supported within Lisp. A few important notes about hash functions. Given a value, calculating the hash is extremely easy. Given a hash, calculating the original input is extremely difficult or impossible. And passing the same value through a hashing function multiple times will always result in the same output. We can use these principles to our advantage by currying a hash of the expected password instead of the password value itself. This prevents us from revealing the expected password while still allowing us to check if the provided password is correct. This is done by hashing the provided password. So let's change our puzzle to use hashing. First, change the curried parameter to password hash and change the other parameter to password. In the comparison, Use SHA-256 to hash the given password and compare it to the password hash. To test this, we'll first have to hash a password and curry it into our new puzzle. Run cdv hash hello to get the hash for the password hello. We can now curry this into our puzzle like last time, making sure to prefix the hash with 0x to identify it as a Chia Lisp value. Now we can pass this compiled puzzle through brun and provide the correct password to test. It's important to know that while hashing is an essential part of securing our puzzle, this is not quite enough. When we provide our solution with the correct password, that password will be visible on the blockchain, meaning we won't be able to use it again. The final solution to this problem is to use signatures, which we'll talk about in a future video. Now that we've talked about currying and hashing, let's talk about conditions. In our password puzzle, let's make a couple of additions. First, we'll add a parameter called conditions and then replace the success and fail messages with that parameter followed by x in parentheses. So what does this do? Well, the x represents an error. If the password is incorrect, the if statement will evaluate to false and error out, terminating the program and leaving the coin that we are creating unspent. If the correct password is given, the conditions that are provided by the spender will be run. So back to our terminal, first we'll need to curry in our hashed password as before. Now that we have the compiled puzzle, we're going to need to do a few things to create a coin. First, we'll need the puzzle hash, which we can get by running opc-h and passing in our compiled puzzle. We'll save the result for later. Next, we'll need the puzzle reveal, which is just a serialized form of the puzzle in hex. It's what you must reveal on chain when spending a coin. We can get this by running opc and passing in our compiled puzzle. We'll save this for later as well. Now to create the coin, we need to encode our puzzle hash into an address with cdv encode p txch and passing in our puzzle hash. 
We then send that address an amount of XCH to lock it. Now let's spend the coin to release the value back to our wallet. First, we'll get our wallet address and convert it to a puzzle hash with CDV decode. We'll then use this to build the condition we want to pass into the coin. For this example, we're going to use the create coin condition, which is denoted by the code 51. So to construct our solution, we'll write OPC, then give our password, then the condition we want to pass in, in this case, the condition code 51, our wallet puzzle hash prefixed by 0x, and an amount. This output is our solution, and we'll save it for later. All right, we now need to retrieve the coin record we created earlier when we committed XCH to the puzzle. Run CDV RPC coin records dash dash by puzzle hash and pass in the original puzzle hash. The output may contain a few coin records depending on if you're following the example closely and use the most recent one based on highest block index and copy the coin record. Now we are going to create a spend bundle. Start a JSON file and create a property called coin spends that contains an array containing an object. Paste the coin record followed by the puzzle reveal you generated earlier and then the solution. Create another property called aggregated signature and assign this value. That's 191 zeros. Now submit the spend bundle to the mempool with CDV RPC push transaction spend bundle .json. If everything was successful, this transaction should be accepted and you should see your wallet balance increase after some time passes. Now you've created your first smart coin. In this video, we talked about how to curry values into a generalized puzzle, how to hash both sensitive values as well as puzzles for creating coins, and touched on conditions that can be passed into puzzles. In the next video, we'll talk further about security and how to use signatures to better secure your transactions. See you then.